did you ever want to just print something in black and white, but you created your document, then you hit print, and you forgot to change it from color to black and white? Well, here's how you can set the default printing to black, and it will save it across all your applications. So instead of going to an individual application to set your printer up, we're going to go ahead and go to the Settings app in New Windows 10. We're going over here to Devices, and when you go in there, you're going to go in and you're going to find uh, Printers and Scanners, and you're going to find your printer. Now, I'm going to use my HP as an example, but we're going to talk about Canon a little bit later. We're going to click on this uh, to go into its uh, settings. And once you click on it, it'll open up like this, and we want to uh, go to Manage. We don't want to use their printer app. Some manufacturers have one now. But let's just go to the Windows setting, and we say Manage. We go down here, you see I have two different options here, because it's a built-in scanner and all that. But we're going to go down on here and find the one that says Printing Preferences. Not Printing Properties, but Printing Preferences. So we're going to click on that, and it should bring up the built-in dialog box that's loaded with your printer driver. In this case, again, it's for the HP. So in this dialog box, you can do a whole bunch of things. You can set your, your quality of your print and all that. Um, and you can even do a thing where the, it's a draft quality for color, so you don't use intense color. Uh, but if you want gray, you have to go to somewhere else. You're going to have to go up here uh, to the Page Quality tab. And you look here, and down here you'll see a drop-down. Uh, leave these alone up here, the high quality and draft. You don't really need to change those. You can leave it in uh, normal. But right down here is where you'll see your options. Now yours will probably be on off like this, okay? But all you do is click on it and choose what you want. Don't use black ink only. Use the high quality uh, graphics. Because if you do black ink only, even shaded light, lighter colors will come out black or blacker. So you want to just leave it at that and say OK. As soon as you do that, Windows is now set up for this to be used for all the applications. As you might suspect, uh, Word and other Microsoft applications work fine. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go ahead and create a new from a template. So I'm going to go here and grab this template from online. And there it is in color. And so you'll notice, though, that if I go to the menu here for printing, I come on down here to print, and I click on it, and I go to the same uh, things. You'll see it here. It shows it in color. But if I go to printer properties here, it brings up the same dialog box that we saw earlier. And grayscale is already selected for me. So to show you I'm not doing anything, I'm going to switch over here to a live view of my monitor. I'm going to say I'm still doing this. I'm saying printer properties already done. I just simply click on print and I walk across the room to where my uh, printer's at and sure enough it starts spitting out a black and white copy of my document. Don't have to worry about it. It already has been set to default. So what you see is what you get. So that's Word. If we choose Excel, PowerPoint, all those work fine. Uh, let's try something different. So now we're going to try something different. We're going to try Chrome. So I'm going to go down here and click on Chrome. I'm going to come up here and I'm just on their regular page. And I go over here to print right there. Okay, and I come over here and I see it's uh, set up for save for PDF right now. But if I go down here, you'll see the settings here. And you'll notice that uh, it doesn't say anything. And that's because we have to go to the driver for the printer. And we click on there, it automatically changes to black and white. You don't have to worry about it again. It will print out in black and white just like it did from Word. So Chrome is a, basically a desktop app, so now we're going to go to a Windows app. So I've opened up the photo app. I'm going to go over here, select print, and the printer's already selected. And we go down here and we look uh, and see that it's all got a regular settings. But we're going to have to go down here and click on this to open up. Now HP has a app for their printer. These are the same settings you saw in the desktop version dialog box. And here you see it still says printing grayscale automatically. So if we want to print this picture or any picture, it's defaulted to grayscale. So I don't have a Canon printer. I only have HP. So I went out and found the manual and found the page. And there it is. There's a page in the configuration of this particular one. And there is a checkbox for grayscale printing. So we simply check that. And in the manuals I found for uh, the two Canons I checked, they both had this explanation in there about how much ink black ink uses. It does use a slight amount of color ink when doing cleaning or setup. 
Now, one note of caution, because I don't have a Canon printer, I can't confirm this, but make sure when you save this, uh, you go back in and check it on a, a document one time to make sure that every time it comes up, it keeps the default setting. Now, that's for Canon. I've already confirmed it on HP. So there you have it. How to set your printer to default to black printing that will persist through both desktop apps and regular Windows apps. Hopefully, this will help you save some money on that expensive printer ink. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.